This video is going to be a little different. It's not just a single video, but a set of videos to try to show you what scenario-based learning is through an example of scenario-based learning. Makes good sense, right? Let's run the intro. So before we jump straight into the scenario I've built, we need to get a few facts in place first. What is scenario-based learning and what are some of the theoretical principles behind it? Scenario-based learning, or SBL, is a learning method where the learner is presented with a situation or a scenario and is then asked how to go forward from this scenario. This is the context. What do you do? A, B or C, right? This way of teaching and learning is based on the principles of situated learning theory formulated by Leif and Venger in 1991. They argue that learning best takes place in the context in which it is going to be used. Scenario-based learning also has a lot in common with situated cognition formulated by Kindley in 2002. It's a similar idea that knowledge is best acquired and more fully understood when situated within its context. So now that we know a bit about what SBL is and where it comes from, let's take a look at an example of what this could look like. To build a scenario, we need to provide some information on where it takes place, who's there, and what's happening. Imagine you're a firefighter. It's your very first day on the job and you're sitting in the fire station's meeting room. One of your new colleagues comes in and hands you an onboarding checklist and tells you that this is what everyone reads before they start fighting actual fires. He asks you to finish it today because one of the others called in sick for the week, so they need you to join the team tomorrow. He then leaves the room and you're alone with the checklist. What do you do? Now you choose A or B. Click on one of the videos to see the consequence of your choice. Come on, go to the next video. This one is going to end real soon and then nothing of all this is going to make sense. Last chance, A or B. 